everybody. I'm Lisa and behind the camera is Bill. Together we're Belisa. Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. Today we have 10 really fun things for you to do at Disneyland that aren't rides. I know you're saying, what? Why would I go to Disneyland and do something other than ride rides? And while I agree with you that the rides are great, we have 10 things that you're gonna really enjoy doing at Disneyland other than rides. We have them here in no particular order. Let's get started. Number 10, but of course in no particular order, is the Star Wars launch bay in Tomorrowland. Inside the launch bay, you can go in and you can meet amazing characters from the Star Wars movies. You can see all types of items on display. It's really, really cool, and the characters are so interactive. Let's head inside. They even have a life-size first order stormtrooper on display that you can come take pictures with and look at all the detail. This is our friend Derek, Hello. and he's here with four other friends. We have run into them inside the Star Wars launch bay, and we're so happy to get to see Derek again. You can even go in and have character experiences in the Star Wars launch bay. I always love going in and meeting Chewbacca and getting great big hugs from him. But there are other characters that you can visit while you're in there as well. Make sure if you do visit the Star Wars launch bay though, you don't miss an opportunity to meet Chewbacca, get a hug from him, and even get his autograph if you want. Number nine on the list in no particular order is the Fantasyland Theater, which of course is in Fantasyland. It sits right next to It's a Small World and it is right before you enter Toontown. The show that plays here is Mickey and the Magical Map, which is amazing. You can come in, you can sit in the shade and enjoy a really fun show with dancing, singing, and Disney characters. particular order is the Royal Theater which is right here in Fantasy Fair. The Royal Theater is an amazing show. You can either see Tangled or you can see Beauty and the Beast and both of them are amazing. They have great actors and actresses that put on a show for you. It's interactive for the children. The children can sit up front, they can clap along, they can boo for the villains and it is so much fun for everyone. You ready? Yes, I can do this for Belle. Madame et Monsieur, welcome the charming and delightful Mademoiselle Belle! The beast's heart was pounding. He knew for certain he loved her, but how could he begin to tell her how he really felt? Belle, I'm sorry I behaved like a... well, like a beast. That's alright. Perhaps he jumped to conclusions. It's true, you know. You really can't judge a book by its cover. Number six on the list, in no particular order, is the shooting expedition in Frontierland. It is only 50 cents to play, and it is so much fun for the kids and adults to come in here and shoot and play. order 
here is the enchanted tiki room where you can go inside and you can hear the wonderful, amazing birds sing. I can stand so up. we're going to start the show the same way we always do, with one little twist. You're going to wake up Jose on the count of three. I'm going to say, you're going to say, wake up Jose. So, okay. one, two, three. Wake up Jose. Oh, when is this senorita? <laughs> My siestas are getting shorter and shorter. Number four on the list, in no particular order, is Fantasmic. It is the best show that Disneyland has to offer, in my opinion. It is an amazing nighttime show. It is right here near New Orleans Squares on the Rivers of America. It is shown two times every night and it is fantastic. If you get an opportunity to see it, you should. There are fireworks, characters singing and dancing, and Mickey is incredible. <laughs> Captain. Number three on the list, in no particular order, is the fireworks show. Currently, right now at Disneyland, the fireworks show is Halloween Screams, and it is amazing. One of the things that Disneyland has recently integrated into their fireworks show, which makes it so great, is the projections that are shown on the castle are also shown on all of the buildings along Main Street. So you can stand anywhere on Main Street, you can see the castle with the fireworks above it, but all of the projections are shown right here up close and it's awesome. The other reason we like standing right where we are right now is the Main Street Cinema is right here. While you're waiting for the fireworks show to start, you can head inside. It's nice and cool. There are benches to sit on. You can watch the movies that are playing of Steamboat Willie while everyone else is standing out here waiting. Disneyland that aren't rides. 
I hope you enjoyed them. There are obviously amazing things you can do here, not just the rides, even though that seems like that's why everyone comes here. We're gonna end our video here though with a delicious Sunday in the Golden Horseshoe. I hope you enjoyed our video. I'm Lisa, behind the camera is Bill, and together we are Bill Lisa. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe. And thank you so much for watching our videos. Bye.